Nines. Welcome back to the show, and welcome again to telling us a few more stories here on Insect Corner. Make your jaw good and tight, that's it. Wiggle your lower jaw a little bit. Let your tongue rest loosely on the floor. Good and tight. Ah, let go. Your mind is quiet, and it is prepared to focus its attention on bed bugs, locusts, DDT treatment. Nozzle of some kind. Uh, later on, when I was in service, one day I went out to the Maison Blanche Air Base outside of Algiers in uh, North Africa. What year was that? 1944. All of a sudden, the, the, like a cloud came over the sun, and the next instant, the place was just full of these large um, locusts. Like locusts? Like locusts? The locust swarm, and they were so dense that it actually shielded out the sun. Shielded out the sun. To a large degree. And I had to put the Jeep in four-wheel drive because the roads were so slick with their bodies. Dead. Really? Once I realized what was going on, I didn't panic anymore, even though they were hitting me in the face and they were just all over. In the, va- in the oh, It was an open Jeep, and they were just uh, all over. That was the second really big event that I ever had with, uh, but that was my own personal experience with, uh, with a locust swarm. Um, man, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to, now the other experience while I was in service with insects, we lived in a basement, semi-basement. Half basement. Curious. On, uh, in a building in Algiers. There were eight of us in there and we had army bunks and we didn't have any sheets but we had blankets and this was in warm weather too and these army cots had a wooden stake across the top and the bottom that would stretch out the canvas that we slept on and all of a sudden some of us were waking up in the mornings with um, red bites and all of a sudden we realized that we all had bed bugs. Bed, bed bugs. Bug. Bed, bed bug. bug. And these bed bugs were staying where the wooden rods went through the canvas. Bed bug insect parasites on humans, but fortunately bed bugs do not carry any major diseases that we know of. If anything, they're particularly just a nuisance. And so we just got a hold of some DDT and we and dusted our blankets and our bunks with with DDT and we essentially slept in DDT from then on. Bed bugs a social problem since they're not necessarily a medical problem was reduced greatly by the use of DDT. In recent years as we all know bed bugs or simbicity have been making a grand comeback. At certain times, they would line us up, and we were in fatigues, and they had a, a, a nozzle of some kind, and they put it down your back, and there'd be a big poof, and down the front of our shirts and then our trousers, another big poof, and it was uh, essentially dusting us with DDT. They put enough in there to cover our bodies, and it come through the clothes, and so. I'm, I'm sure it was, the problem was lice. Yeah. Well, I never had any body lice, probably because of the DDT treatment. Now, lice, on the other hand, do carry up major diseases. And it was the use of DDT in World War II that prevented your outbreaks of body lice and their associated diseases amongst troops. And uh, that's about the only really devastating or very interesting experiences I had with insects. Thanks again for listening to this episode of Insect Corner. And stories of insects during World War II. From someone who knows a lot about insects during World War II, someone that was in World War II.